for people that have their own existing databases if they wonder how do we get our data into this system to start using then that's um, a relatively simple thing to do as well. Just let me close this. Create a new project. And I'm going to change my view and apart from Excel. So just follow the steps. We're going to pick a view. Use, um, we're going to import into Cost Planner. You can see we can import into other parts of the software as well. I'm going to choose the Excel file. So I'll just do a, a very short example of a substructure. Ian? Yeah? I'd just like to point out for the audience here that we frequently uh, get this question from everyone who's interested in model-based estimating, which is, how can I use data that I already have in VCO Office? How do I get the data in? And so I just want to make sure everyone understands you're about to perform the process for importing data from uh, Excel, which uh, can be written to by most estimating systems. So this data could be coming from Timberline or Timberline, MP Square? Yeah, or, or WinEst. It doesn't matter. Or uh, frequently people already have a, a good uh, estimating classification system in Excel. Okay. Um, so basically the process is you can see the Excel sheet at the bottom and um, the cost plan of view at the top. And we just have to tell each column what it is. So this is code 1. It starts building at the top. I don't want the code one because it's just a header. So I can deselect that and then go through the different columns. I want every column so you don't get bored. Doing it this way, you could keep all of your standard data in Excel and create a project specific estimate and just bring it in or we can use the data internally in the, inside the software. So it's, it's very flexible um, about how you use to manage your, your own data. So I think we'll just take that for now. Um, for example, this was all I'm going to import now, and then the next time I was going to add in more columns, I could save this selection set. And the next time I come in, I can um, do it again and it'll remember my selection so I don't have to do this part again. Then if we click validate and calculate, and then compare, compare and update. Um, this project was totally empty, um, so this is going to tell me um, the differences between this time and last time. So you can see we've got code 1 and code 2, description 1, description 2. These are all red um, because there was nothing in there previously. But what this enables us to do, um, I will just uh, we can isolate differences, but that isn't going to make a change. I'll just update these quickly. So this will have now added it to the cost plan. And then we can use it, uh, and if we decide that we want to have more data, that's just a simple operation of re um, repeating exactly what you've just done. And then, just bear with me, if I go into my cost plan now and open it up, you can see what I've just imported. Okay, so 
so I'm going to take that same file now and just make um, some adjustments to it, just so I can show you the difference. Okay, so I'm going to call this example, and let me copy that into those three. Oh. Pick my view again, cost planner, open the Excel file, and now because I've already done this selection before, I'm going to select in demo, and it will make the same selections as last time. Again, I'll validate and calculate, and press compare and update, uh, and then I'm going to isolate the differences. And you can see that the ones that I've just changed, if I look at these two descriptions, we've changed the continuous foot into example and these elements to example. So it'll pick up on the differences between the two sets of data and then you can choose whether you update the, um, just the selected part or if you update all. So this would be how you manage your data. If you've got a load of resource pricing, um, obviously same resources in many different projects and then you keep a project which is effectively your list of resources and you want it to add fat or whatever to certain parts and, you know concrete has just gone up then you would run compare and update um, and update the all, all your resource costing and we can we've also got some preset here uh, so we can compare project snapshots against the project so you could say Let's have a look what this lab costs with this lab that we're doing now, and let's compare the differences. So you choose the two things you want to compare. We've got some precepts. We want to compare cost, cost and takeoff, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we can compare so much different information from two sets from different projects. Um, so again, it's just more auditability um, and keeping that information from historic projects and being able to use it actively in new projects.